So this is another example using Avogadro's law. So a 4.8 liter sample of helium gas contains 0 0.22 moles of helium. How many additional moles of helium gas must be added to the sample to obtain a volume of 6.4 liters? So let's make a table and organize this information. First number is 4.8 liters. That's a volume. And it says it contains 0 0.22 moles of helium. And that has the letter lowercase n. And then the last number is 6.4 liters. So let's put that over here with the other volume. And then what will we write in here? N2. So we can solve for N2. So we use um, Avogadro's law, N1 over V1 equals N2 over V2. This time we're solving for N2. Again, I'm going to cross multiply. Um, I'll do that down here. We'll get it's not what I wanted. N1 V2 is equal to V1 N2. Still trying to isolate N2. What should I do to get him by himself? Divide by V1. Because then the V1 will cancel out. If I do it on one side, I have to do it on the other side. Now I have my equation, N2 equals N1 V2 over V1. N1 was 0 0.22 moles, volume 2, 6.4 liters, volume 1, 4.8 liters. I took the numbers out of the question and I put them in a table. You're always going to end up with one blank. You find an equation that has these variables in it. You rearrange it to isolate this one that you're looking for. Then you take the numbers from your table and you plug them into the correct places. And then you use your calculator. 0.22 times 6.4 divided by 4.8. And this problem is uh, two significant figures, so this is 0.29 moles. When we look at the units in this, we see that the liters cancel out and we're left with a unit of mole. Now this is an example of a question that's got a little twist in it. Is 0.29 moles really the answer to what they're asking us? No. They're asking how many additional moles? Yeah, how many additional moles? So they're saying you've got 0.22 moles and you want to add some helium to make the balloon this size, how much do you have to add? Well, it's the difference, right? What we solved for was the volume, I'm sorry, the moles that you need to have at the end. And so to find what you have to add, you're going to subtract what you started with, and then you find out that you need to add 0 0.07 moles. So watch out for things like that because in the homework they love to do stuff like that. <coughs> the other little tricks they like to play on you are they'll give you one volume in liters and one in milliliters. And so 
does it really matter what the unit is? It doesn't matter as long as they're the same. They have to be the same, otherwise they won't cancel out. N, N does need to be in moles. Occasionally they might slip one in where they give you grams. I hope, I hope they don't do that to you. <coughs> does that help? Okay.